Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. So I'm here with baby Sasha and Sasha is the Gabigail um, vinyl kit by Claire Teller, um, painted by me. I am going to get her dressed um, and I don't know if she's gonna fit this outfit or not, but we'll see. Um, so Sasha is, um, like I said, the Gabigail Asleep sculpt which is the same sculpt that I will be painting for my giveaway and what I decided to do at least for the first for the new people that just joined the chatterbox um to be fair with them I'm actually because I don't really some I may not really know um as far as the community goes um like I said you sh you do have to be an active member of the community um but um you don't have to have your own youtube channel or anything like that but what i did say i was going to do is i'm going to draw a name for um the new members that join the chatterbox and i may draw a name for the mid people that's been there for the second longest and then i may pick one the third person um at random and then i'm gonna put all three names up on the community tab poll for you guys to vote i will draw um start picking names on i believe i said april did i say april 3rd or april 4th i don't know i have to go back and verify the dates but whatever the giveaway video is i'm definitely going to still do the um i'm still going to you know pull the names regardless if um the baby is finished or not i'm not 100 percent sure that um the baby will be completed finished painting by um april 7th i think that's pretty much when i said the, the winner would be chosen um i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm still aiming for that um because in my past giveaway i usually like for once the giveaway is over that i'm able to hear back from the the winner and ship so i want to um i want to be as close to the giveaway ending with the baby so but you guys know i have to my customs are priority um but you know good thing it's silicone that i'm working on with my customs so it doesn't take away from them because when they're current i can paint i can you know paint vinyl and i am currently rooting thin but um his mommy knows what's going on with him i just um really got really into it over the weekend um because my i have to finish i had to finish up um ashby which is like 95 percent done she just um i'm just finishing up last touches and then um i'll put her together for some pictures and she will wait until her mommy can until i well not wait for her mommy but wait for me to Get to root her next so as soon as i stop rooting thin i'll start rooting her um but in the meantime i'll be rooting rooting and painting felix so that's that's where my main focus is right now but anyway that's what's going on with me so i was thinking the other day i was like man i don't have any more babies on layaway or anything because i I said let me try this layaway thing because I really wanted to try this kit this one um blank silicone kit I really this oh I'm sorry I should turn her face this way um I really want to wanted to uh see this kit feel this kit in person I really want to paint it um and so I was um but at the time the price was kind of a little more than I was wanting to pay 
Um, and so um, I caught the uh, the artist was doing a special. And so I caught it during the special time and you could still do layaway. So I said, you know what, let me do a layaway. So I did a short layaway. Um, and I was thinking, you know, layaways can really get you in trouble. <laughs> Because you'll have all this stuff pending and by the time you realize it, you are making so many payments on so many babies. I don't know how people do that on a regular basis, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I just don't. I don't know how... And I can see how easy it can be to have multiple ones going at one time. Man, I I ain't gonna lie though. It it does make it easier for you to obtain a baby. Um, someone asked like, what's the longest layaway? You know, or the longest you've waited for a baby, like on purpose. Like the artist says, I have a you know six month waiting list before I can even get started or I have a um, 12 month waiting list some people have two years I contacted an artist the other day about painting a baby for me and she said she was all the way in midway of 2022 now in the climate that we're in with COVID and just regular life um, there's no insurance <laughs> that you're you know that everything is going to be the same you know six months from now much less you know two years from now i would never and i, I mean i i'm not to each his own i'm just talking about me personally i would never do a layaway that long never um for one my patience is very short and i get annoyed waiting six days talking about six months two years no way i just wouldn't do it um you know something could happen the person could get ill um they could get sick they could die i hate to say that but i mean anything could happen um they could decide that they just you know just can't do it anymore where does that leave you with the all the money that you spent out you have no coverage at that point through PayPal. I don't even know if your bank will even cover after two, you know, three years. So I just wouldn't, I just think that's too far. Think of all the different dolls that's going to be on came out that you're going to want more than the one that you selected back then. I mean, I just, I just couldn't do it. I don't, I don't care if it's my favorite sculptor, my favorite. Oh my gosh, she does fit it. I didn't think she'd fit it. So her and Maggie is really and true about the same size because she fits it as nice as Maggie a little bit nicer because her feet is more a little bit longer I think wow I love it on her <gasps> I can't believe you could fit it Nona you're never gonna come out of that <laughs> but um yeah, so I just, I, I, oh, where I find a way to be good for the buyer, I don't, I, and I don't find it good for the seller because a lot of times people cancel out layaways. And so I won't do layaway with just newbies. Um, and I say newbies like new people that I've never did business with. I'll only do layaway with people um, sometimes, depending on the doll and where I'm at with the situation um with customers that i've done business with before um just because i just you know i i can't afford for you to be like you know two months in and saying you know i want my money back i i can't i i can't do the layaway anymore i don't want the doll anymore or whatever the case is you know things that people come up with I just can't afford to do that, so I don't do layaway. Um, yeah, I just I just can't. So um, sometimes there are certain things that like make you 
feel like you have to do the layaway. You want to lock it down, especially like if it's a limited edition, you know, baby, or, you know, um, it's a sold out kit edition. And that is the only, um, you know, that is the only baby that is, uh, the only one you could get your hands on by an artist that you like work. I don't know. It's just kind of, I guess it could be a whole bunch of things. Or you're already tied, your money's tied up on different things. And you, um, but you really want to lock down this artist for this particular doll. That might be a reason why you do layaway. And like I said, and sometimes you just can't outright afford it all in one time. And you want to break it up over your paychecks. That's another reason to do layaway. And so I think where I think it's great in those scenarios, I just personally would not want to have to do. Uh, and sometimes, you know, an artist that's been around for a long time and everything along having that option, like up to 12 months, that option or up to six months, I think up to six months is fair. Up to six months or up to 12 months, having that option is great. Just knowing that if something come up, you have that time, but I probably wouldn't not necessarily use it. But if you, you know, if you did, um, you know, that's fine. That's good. You know, I've known, I know people that have done long term layaways and they worked out fine. I'm just saying for me, it's just, it wouldn't be something that I would do regularly. It would probably be like a one off, but I definitely wouldn't sign up for a custom for two, three years. Um, just simply because it's just so many variables go into that. And then, you know, for me, my whole thing is waiting to see what the baby's going to look like. And you mean to tell me for two years, I'm going to be like, just completely, I don't know. Like I can't do it. I can't imagine what baby that would be so great that I would wait that long. I don't know guys, but let me know what's the longest custom that you have done or what's the longest you are willing to wait for a custom baby painted by let's say your dream artist or favorite artist um let me know in the comment section anyway guys thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys soon bye bye